Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, Miles, and welcome to the Jason Miles Real Estate Network, a.k.a. the Real Estate 360 uh, information platform. And today, I'm going to be here having a conversation with you about your rental properties and where you can find the values for what your rents should actually be. Now, we had already discussed how you can evaluate a property to see what it could mean for you. Is it a good deal based on the rental values in, in the area, right? We've already done that video, and if you want to see that, it's going to be up here somewhere. I don't know where, but it'll be up here, okay? So I want to show you where you get those values because once I put that video out, I just made an assumption that everybody knew exactly where to go and find out what the rental values would be in a particular neighborhood. But that's not the case. The feedback I got was like, hey, where do we get that information from? So I just want to share with you where I get that information from. And there's several different places to look and it's all free. And I would suggest that you look at all of them. So you get a clear understanding of exactly what the values should be in your particular area based on how you want to rent it. Now we're just going to kind of jump right in. So a lot of people are really interested in dealing with section eight. Well, section eight isn't always my favorite thing. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm pretty vocal about that, but it is a viable source of income. And if you're going to utilize Section 8 government monies, you have to know where to go find that information. So you call Housing and Urban Development in your area and you ask them, what do you pay for a two bedroom, one bathroom? What do you pay for a three, two? What do you pay for a four, two? Whatever the case, they're gonna send you a chart and it's, or, or send you to a website where you can download a chart. It's gonna be different in whatever area of the country you live in but they're going to say, here's what those values are. Here's what we pay. And they may even give you a range of value, but that's fine too. It's going to give you an understanding of what's going on in that spot. Now, the next way you can go is go to Zillow. I know, I know a lot of people are always talking about Zillow and how bad it is, but it's Zillow, right? You're not looking for a Zestimate. You're looking for an estimation of what rents go for in those areas. So when you pop in a property, if you have the rent icon hit, when you're looking through there, you can pop in the address and it'll give you a range. Well, it's not going to give you a range. It's actually going to give you a bunch of properties in the area that are similar based on the filters you set inside it that tell you exactly what that property is renting for. So that's one. Another one is rental meter. Rental meter is another one. There's a paid version of it and there's a free version of it. I'm not saying that you have to pay for anything. You can still utilize the free version, right? You're not really looking for a bunch of the data that they have in there anyway. You just want to know right now what the rents are. What are people getting for rents in that area? You simply pop in the address. You're going to do the same thing with every one of these sites. You're going to pop in the address and it's going to also give you a range. It'll go from, you know, 1100 to 1300, depending on what you popped in. And it's good for the entire country, anywhere in the country. It's not just specific anywhere. In fact, all of these are going to be that way. Okay. Now, another way that you're going to get these values is go to apartments.com. You see the commercials all the time. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Uh, so you go there and you, again, you put in the address and you're saying to yourself, well, apartments.com, it's about apartments, right? Well, it's not just about apartments. Yes, they have apartments, but they have condos and townhouses and single family homes there as well that are listed for rent. So you just pop in the address again, you look at the generalized area of what, you know, equal bed and bath count, equal square footage to what you're looking at, and it'll give you a range, okay? Another one that's just like that is forrent.com. And these are all very similar, but I want you to understand that you can go anywhere and get this information. Forrent.com is very, very similar to apartments.com. It's gonna have houses, it's going to have a condos. It's going to have apartments. It's going to have all of that. And again, I want to stress to you that these are free. These are free resources. You don't have to pay for it. Okay. And it's with rentals, you know, the rental market changes all the time. I mean, look at where we are today. Today, rents are higher everywhere than they have ever been. You know, it seems like through the pandemic, everything got more expensive, rent included, even though people weren't working, even though there wasn't money circulating. Even though, you know, home values have gone up just exponentially, rents have gone up equally. 
right? And, and they didn't make it any easier for people to, to get into these apartments or rentals anyway, as it relates to credit check, uh, job references, what you need, needing to be, you know, three times the rent and so on and so forth. But you as a landlord are going to set up your own parameters for who you want to rent that property from you. So the bigger companies are wanting people to make at least three times the rent. Gets to be pretty difficult when the rents in certain areas are, you know, $1,800 for a small one bedroom house or even more in some cases. I was reading an article today where they have a 300 square foot basement apartment in New York renting for $2,300 a month. It's insane. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now the final place that you can go if you're an agent or if you know an agent is MLS. MLS has a ton of information that helps people uh, whether they're buying, whether they're selling, whether they're lease optioning or renting. And if you have access to the MLS, it is another place that you can utilize to find values for your particular or potential, I should say, rental property. So, but you need to be an agent. And if you're an agent, you're paying for that resource, right? If you're not an agent and you know an agent, maybe you can convince them to give you some information, but you don't need to go to MLS. It's just another resource for you. You have all the other ones that I mentioned before that are absolutely free. There is a paid version for one or two, but you do not need to pay for it. You'll get the exact same information that you're searching for simply by, simply by using any of those services for free. So I hope this cleared up the message for you. Now you know where you can find the values for a rental property that you're looking at and evaluating to make sure that it's a good deal for you. So again, I want to reiterate, if you did not see how to evaluate a rental property to see if it's a good fit for you and your investment strategy, just look right up here. Just look up here. Also, inside the description of this video, you'll see a link to a download. That download will give you uh, an Excel spreadsheet that will allow you to pop in the numbers and evaluate that property in two minutes. In two minutes. So take advantage of it. It's a free tool. I want to share it with you. And Good luck on your uh, investment opportunities. Watch more videos. Make sure you see what's coming up next. See you on the next video. Peace.